Hi everyone, this is Mindy and welcome back. Today I'm sharing inspiration using the Make Yourself at Home card kit by Hero Arts sold exclusively at joanne.com. These kits are available online and at select stores. So I have three cards that I want to share with you and first we're going to take a look at the contents of the kit. So this is the entire kit that would be available for purchase inks, papers, stamps, everything you need in there to create these designs with maybe a few extra things from your stash. So first thing in the kit, we have the color layering hummingbird stamp set. It has this beautiful image that you can layer up with color along with some sentiments. There is the coordinating die. We have flowers for coloring bold print. There is also some greens enamel dots to embellish. And then we have teal baker's twine. There's three yards there. And then cardstock is paradise, lime green, and bright pink. You get two sheets and it's five and a half by eight and a half. Now for inks, we had paradise, green apple, and azalea, and also an intensified black in the ink cubes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a bunch of backgrounds. And I really wanted to use these colors of cardstock to do some tone on tone stamping. So I removed the foam insert from my Misty tool because I'm gonna be using the background stamp, which is already foam mounted. I trimmed my cardstock down to four and a quarter by five and a half, placed it inside of my Misty, and now I'm stamping down the background stamp in the azalea ink on that bright pink cardstock. I cleaned my stamp and I stamped the paradise ink onto the paradise cardstock and then same thing for the green background. I used the green cardstock with the green apple ink for this tone on tone look. Now you may need to ink it up a few times to get a really good impression of them, but I really love this tone on tone look. Now another idea that I was pondering on doing was adding some strips of colored cardstock to my card front. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut down each of these pieces. I did about two or three strips and they quarter of an inch. So I have all of these strips ready for later on in the video. Now to do my stamping, the easiest way I found to do this was I went through and I used the coordinating die and die cut out a bunch of the hummingbirds from white cardstock. Now I saved one of those negative pieces and I'm going to trim it out. I only need one of these. I don't need a bunch. And what I'm going to do is I created myself a template. So here I put my foam insert back into my Misty and I have some scratch paper there and I'm going to ink up the hummingbird. Now this is the outline image of the hummingbird and I'm stamping this down in black ink. So there I kind of have my base of where my hummingbird's going to be. Then I took that negative piece and I'm going to line that up over that stamped area and hold that down with some low tack tape. Then I can bring in the clear die cuts are not the clear, but the plain white die cuts and just pop that in like a puzzle piece. So now I can ink up my hummingbird once again. It's in the exact same place and stamp that down. So now my image is going to be in the exact same spot every time. It's really easy to work through multiples of these instead of switching my stamp out in and out all the time. And I'm also getting a perfect uh, amount of white space around my die cut. Then I'll just use my tweezers to pop that out and I can place in the next one and just go through all of those die cuts that I did. I always like to create extra in case I mess up anywhere along the line. Once all my outlines are done, I'm going to take the first layer of the color layering hummingbird. Now mine is already kind of tinted green because I was experimenting beforehand, but I used the same process. I lined that up over that stamped image that I have in my Misty and then picked it up with the door of the Misty. Now some of these hummingbirds, I wanted to make sure that the black ink was completely dry. So I did go over that with a heat tool. Then I could pop that in to that negative piece and now I can ink up this first layer of the hummingbird with green apple ink. You know it's the first layer when it is the most solid image out of the layering set. And also in most cases, it will show you on the back of the packaging what each image looks like and how to layer it up. So now I have that one down. I'm gonna do it one more time here to show you on camera. I'm placing in my outline image. I'm going to ink up this first layer of the hummingbird with that green apple ink and stamp that down. 
Now for me personally, I actually find it a lot easier to line up my layering images when my stamp is already stained. So that's a good way of conditioning it is picking an ink and actually staining your stamp. I just find it a lot easier to line up the images. Now this is the next layer of our color layering hummingbird. So this is gonna add some details to the wings and the body. Now, once again, I really took my time and lined that up over the image that's kind of stamped down on that scratch paper. And then I inked it up with the paradise ink. Now when this layers on top of our green apple, it's going to give it more of a dark green look versus the blue look. And then I can just go through all of my die cuts and put this second layer down, clean your stamp, change your colors if you want to. And then this is the last part of the layering image. And this is going to be adding that kind of bright pink detail that's on the net. So for that one, I lined it up, stamped it with that azalea ink to make sure that it's lined up correctly. Once I'm sure it is lined up correctly, then I can bring in my die cut and go through and stamp all of them. So it's just also a really great way to test and make sure that your images are lined up correctly. For the first card that I'm going to create, I am die cutting out a tag using my mini hero die cutting machine. And I'm going to use that for the front of the card. And this card front is going to be that green on green. So I took some of the twine, I folded it in half and I'm creating a bow, just kind of tying it in a knot. And I have, so I have double layers there on my bow, set that off on the side and I'm adding some foam tape to the back of my small tag. So I will place this over on the right hand side. I normally like to keep all of my things on the left hand side of my card, but because the hummingbird is facing to the left, I thought that would look a little weird. <laughs> so I placed my tag on the right and my hummingbird's also going to be on the right. Now to attach my bow, I'm adding a little dot of liquid glue from Hero Arts, and I'm going to place that towards the top of my tag. I'm going to add some foam squares or foam tape to the back of my hummingbird to pop that up a little bit on the front of the tag. And for a sentiment, I had gone ahead off screen and I went and stamped out a bunch of sentiments off of the set. I heat embossed them onto pitch black cardstock with white embossing powder, and then I fussy cut the sentiments out. So that is card number one. Card number two is going to be using that pink. So the pink tone on tone, I just trimmed off a little strip. This might be about two inches, and I'm going to add some tape runner onto that and attach that to a white card front that is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I also die cut out some gold glitter cardstock into a quarter inch strip added tape behind that and I'm adding that right below my pink panel. Once I'm sure that that is lined up straight, I can flip this over and trim off the excess of that gold glitter cardstock. And then to add my hummingbird, I'm once again going to add some foam tape or foam strips behind it and add that to the front of the card off on the right hand side. And then I have another sentiment that I white heat embossed onto pitch black cardstock and added black foam squares too. And I can add that I'm actually going to add my sentiment down below my gold strip there because I wanted the gold to show. I didn't want to cover that up too much. And then later on, I'm going to embellish towards the end of the video. I was, wasn't sure what I was going to do for embellishment yet, but I will be doing that later on. So that is card number two. And then for card number three, I'm going to use these quarter inch strips that I trimmed out. So I'm going to add tape runner behind it and I'm using my grid surface to help me line those up really straight. And I'm also attaching this. So I'm using this silicone mat. This is really great because then I'm not getting this sticky tape all over my glass work surface because it takes forever to clean that off. So I'm just using my tape runner over that silicone mat. And then I'm going through and lining these up in that pattern. So I have the green, pink, and blue. And I'll repeat that pattern going just a little ways down the front of my cardstock. Then once I'm happy with how much I have filled in on the front of the card, I can trim off that excess. And I'm taking this looking glass. This is looking glass circle, I believe it's called. And I'm die cutting that from white cardstock. So it's going to frame my strips of cardstock there. I'll line that with foam tape as well. And I'm placing this towards the center of my card, making sure that my eve my margins are even on each side and it's going to just slightly go over and below the strips of cardstock. Then I have some foam squares added to the hummingbird and also my sentiment. So they're both kind of coming in towards the center of that circle. And then here I am adding a few of those green enamel dots to the front of my cards. 
So that is going to finish up my cards. There's three ideas for you to get you started using the Make Yourself at Home card kit by Hero Arts sold exclusively at joanne.com. And once again, these are available either online or at select stores. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will have more pictures of my cards over on my blog linked down below in the video description. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and see you soon.